All right, what's up, guys? JT Rubber City Motoring here. Um, got some more from Bolt. I teased these in the last video. If you didn't see that one, kind of roll back because that I'm gonna. That's more of a uh, basic on the whole company. But uh, what I have here right now, uh, excuse my lighting, it's really sunny. I have this guy right here. This is the coupler pin lock. It's the one that goes basically on the trailer coupler and it locks it on so you can't remove it from your uh, receiver and it looks just like this I actually gave this one a go uh, it's pretty clever here let me show you how it works so this one seems to have less of a spring loaded effect um, you, it works with your key which I programmed it to trailblazer here um, you kind of it, it it basically like locks itself on so when you turn it to unlock it you can sort of slide it, which this one's honestly, it's, there it goes. It's, you're fighting a little resistance. So it's unlocked there. You put this through your hitch, your coupler, and then you put it on there and then you turn the key and pull it out of there. And then it basically, this stops it from coming off this side and then your big lock on the other. Program to my ignition key like the last setup. And that's pretty much it. So flip your guy down right there. It's gonna go through there. I mean, you can put it whichever way you want. I'll put it through backwards so you can see. So you can adjust it there, and then when you're set with the, the spacing, whatever you want to call it, and there it goes. And it's not not going anywhere. And to take it off, key goes in, and you pull it right off right there, and then we're good. So that is the coupler lock the coupler lock right here uh, runs about 29 bucks I'll put a link below but like all bolt products it is uh, completely programmed to your vehicle this one has more of a hard plastic feel the other ones were more rubbery um, and it has actually it looks like an old school like car door key lock type thing it does cover right there you can see but uh, pretty cool another step in locking your your hitch and your load down to your uh, your vehicle next up here is the off vehicle coupler lock so I'm gonna get this out and sort of it looks like I kind of have to build it based on what's in here um, there's some various pieces parts and I'll kind of break it down here and show you what we got very similar to the other uh, units you could probably uh, once again, transfer over and mix and match those. Got some instructions here, a hard, hardware parts list, whole deal, instructions. This big red piece here, that's heavy. Some various, uh, sort of like a cast, like nut, but they're not threaded or anything. Two sizes. Got a bolt, got a big, big pin right here. That's a probably double the length of the one we're used to. And then this big horseshoe looking thing. Okay, let's get this together here and see what's what. So like all the other ones, um, first step is to program your lock, you insert your ignition key, and then you just start turning clockwise and if you can hear it here you hear it sort of clicking and ratcheting in there to set the tumblers totally programmed out to my late model GM trailblazer key done and done these are your two uh, ball sizes that uh, are supposed to work with your trailer and they do get installed uh, right right on the top of this thing here so I'm gonna go check on my trailer and see which one fits best so it is the smaller one that fits that trailer over there and this is pretty much the only thing I'm gonna gonna use it on so you put it on here per the drawings you tighten this guy down you use a three-quarter inch wrench to sort of snug it or crescent wrench whatever you got that'll snug that down on there
So that's all the assembly we do. So what what you're doing then is you are sticking this up under your coupler. The big horseshoe thing is going to go over top and then you're going to lock it in with the pin and the uh, lock setup. So let me get it on there and I'll show you sort of how it works. And with the coupler uh, closed, it does hold the unit there like just it's locked in there. So what you're going to do then is use the horseshoe strap over top so basically you can't lift this up. So let's see if there's enough travel in this thing because I don't have a real tall coupler on here but I mean I would assume it's going to make it kind of a pain. We'll see here if this actually will work on this particular trailer. So there's plenty of holes left over. My worries are not uh, justified because basically that is not going to allow the coupler to come up. I put the pin through there and then I take my bolt uh, mechanism here and just basically push it on there and that's it so let me give you a little walk around here on this guy right there it's not going anywhere can't come forward can't go tall and Ugh. I can lift it so I might have been able to go one more down but at the same time I can't can't necessarily pull that off so with one of those real tall couplers with the little flip taller flip piece there I think it would be better but um, it's not too bad that's kind of cool it's definitely gonna slow somebody down and then of course it does work with my vehicle ignition key right in there like so so there we have it the bolt coupler lock set up right there. Once again, pardon the lighting, but uh, so there's our setup. Off-vehicle coupler lock, the on-vehicle coupler lock, and um, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty legit setup if you ask me. I am very impressed with Bolt in general. This guy's about 30 bucks here. This guy's about 70. It's because you get a lot with it. It's You get the different ball styles, you get uh, the big heavy duty lock there, the big pin, it's, there's a lot involved with that. So check out Bolt. Um, these will, I'll put a link below for both of these. This is pretty universal, but you do need to make sure it's meant for your vehicle for this with the key style. And then just like the other video, these are all working, every one of them, with my Trailblazer key. Now I did program these ones to go with this white Trailblazer SS, which um, we tow our boat mainly with, but the other ones I did put with the black one because those are kind of not, that's not necessarily the boat tower, but these two pieces here will stay with the boat. So pretty cool. Check out Bolt, check out uh, rubbercitymotoring.com and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.